We humans tend to be miserable when we feel helpless. And feeling helpless is just another way of acknowledging that we have little or no personal power. Too many of us live by the great paradox of our society. We want to follow all the strict rules of humanity and be fair and courteous to everyone around us. Yet when we do, we usually get steamrolled by someone who has not foolishly played by these rules of civility. We do this because we associate personal power with evil people who are devious and cunning. So we end up giving away all of our personal power at every opportunity because we don't want others to look at us that way. So we keep doing without. We keep living life without our needs ever being met. Just hoping that somehow fate will swoop into our lives and even up the scale. The fact is that each and every one of us has a God-given right to claim our personal power. The only problem is that very few of us have ever learned how to do it. Many of us simply try giving up and opting out of the power game altogether. But this will make us even more powerless. And powerlessness would just keep making us even more miserable. Today is the day to change all this as we are going to show you seven quick ways to begin reclaiming your personal power. Stay tuned, this is Mind Gill. Number one, understand that all power is a social game. Within the realm of all power, lies that subset of personal power that all of us should be concerned with. So when we begin learning to understand human nature, we are better equipped to seize our own personal power. Learning to recognize human motivations allows us to begin seeing through that cloud of dust that people use to surround their real intentions. Never forget that an understanding of a person's hidden motives is the single greatest piece of knowledge you can have in acquiring power because it opens up endless possibilities for influence and persuasion. Number two, emotional responses are the greatest barrier to power. An emotional response to a situation is the single greatest barrier to power. This mistake will always cost you far more in stature than any temporary satisfaction you might get from expressing your feelings at the time. Not only do emotions broadcast your weaknesses to others, they also cloud your reason and your judgment. And when you do not see situations clearly, then you are not equipped to respond with any degree of control. Anger is the most destructive of all emotional responses because it clouds your vision the most. It is always best to maintain calm rather than showing your anger. Number three, beware of treating everyone equally. Society demands that we treat everyone equally and we can put on a nice face and do that publicly. But in reality, when we treat everyone equally, it means that we are also ignoring their differences, which is very dangerous. In the end, equality means we begin elevating those who are less skillful and suppressing those who excel. These two actions virtually guarantee mediocrity around you. So ignore equality rules of society and embrace the true skills of others. Number four, people are always more eager to repay a favor than getting a reward. Never forget that people are always more eager to repay a favor than getting a reward because the gratitude felt from the favor is always more of a burden than the reward is a pleasure to them. Thus, it is always easier to solicit help from someone who owes you favors than it is to offer incentives to get people to help you. It is so important to understand this basic human nature in regards to influencing others. Yet countless managers and so-called leaders in today's society fail to understand this basic principle. 
Wise people never fail to hand out favors to those around them at every opportunity. They know that favors are much easier to get repaid when they need them. Politicians have used this principle for years on a daily basis. Number five, planning ahead gives you more power. When you decide that nothing is going to catch you by surprise, you are becoming more powerful. And the further in the future you can see and plan your future steps, the more power you will amass. Rather than spending your time dreaming about the happy ending of your big plans, why not instead start anticipating every possible permutation and problem that might pop up? When you craft contingency plans in advance, you virtually become unstoppable. Number six, patience protects you from making blunders. Just like mastering your emotions, patience is a skill that must be mastered in order to increase your personal power. This can certainly be a challenge because patience does not come naturally to us humans. But nothing about personal power is natural either. It is said that patience is the supreme virtue of the gods, who have nothing but time. Because all good things happen when you give it time and see several steps into the future. Impatience, on the other hand, only makes you look weak. And it is a principal impediment to power. Number seven. Half your personal power comes from the things that you don't do. You gain personal power from not letting yourself get dragged into situations, associations, or schemes that will only damage your stature in the future. Just think back to the bad choices you made in the past that damaged your reputation and your personal power. Now imagine how things would be today if you had chosen differently. So now pat yourself on the back for the good decisions you are making now and will continue to make in the future. Your personal power is growing every single day as a result. We thank you for taking time out to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video we would appreciate it if you would hit the like button below and leave a comment about your thoughts. And don't forget to share it with some of your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future discussions. Until next time, this is MindGuild.